Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R Programming Language Series. In this video, I'll be talking about another chart or graph in the R. It's called Bollinger Band. So the Bollinger Band are closely related to the stock markets or the uh, trading, the stock trading, right? So it's been used by uh, the guys who are interested in the stock markets uh, and they want to analyze the market. So these, the, this uh, Bollinger Band and other charts are used for that purpose. So uh, what is Bollinger Band actually? The Bollinger Bands were developed by technical trader John Bollinger. It is designed to give investors a high probability of identifying when an asset is oversold or overbought. In a simple layman language, uh, it's used for the market uh, uh, trends. So see the trends that when the stock is been, is been changing or not, right? So it's more of that uh, 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 stock market related content, right? So for that, we need to uh, work with the package called Quant Mode. It stands for Quantitative Financial Modeling Framework. It has got two major functions to download the data and to display the data or to display the results with the help of some charts or graphs. First of all, we need to install the package. I'm already having this package installed. So I've already have opened up my R console. Let's load the library, right? And let's get this quant mode into the environment, right? So it's Q U A N T quant mode. All right. So it's been loaded here. So let's see now how we can download the data to get, we have to use the get symbols method to get data from Yahoo or Google or any other company. So default is Yahoo, I, but I want to get the data of Apple for this symbol is double APL. So I'm using this get symbols method. So let's now uh, load this get symbols APL. It will uh, download the data for the Apple, right? Let's just check it out whether the data is properly loaded or not. With the head command, we can see the top three uh, rows of it. Let's see what information we got. You can see it now uh, that we got to, we got multiple information like when the stock got opened, when it got high, what's a low price, close price, volume adjusted. So it's all more about the uh, like management related content, but we are getting some information with the get symbols method. So the, with the help of quant mode, uh, we can uh, draw some nice charts with the likes of line, bars, candlesticks. Although the I'll be talking about Bollinger Band in a while, but before that we need to create a base. So base will be created with the with these kind of charts because Bollinger Band is nothing but a sub simple a band which will be surrounding the area of that chart. So for that we require a chart first. So it, it is, we got some charts available, line chart, bar charts and candlestick charts. So first of all, let's see what is line chart. So line chart displays the closing price of a stock. Let's see now of the Apple. I would like to print the uh, 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 the chart with the help of chart series tool. It's a tool for drawing some uh, uh, statistical graphs. Okay, in which I'm going with the type is line. I would I would like to have the chart uh, the uh, the information uh, in the year 2007, right? In which the theme is white. So let let let, let me draw the chart for the apple. Uh, I'm using the subset here so that I can only get the information of the apple stocks in the year 2007. Let's see now what kind of information I'll be getting here. So with the help of chart series, you can see it here. It has shown me the very uh, uh, like very effective, very attractive kind of a chart in which the everything has been displayed here with this, right? You can see it here. This is called as a line chart and I'm getting this for the Apple company uh, from the this this duration, right? From the uh, 3, uh, 1, 2007 to it means for the year 2007. We have got everything available here, right? So this is my first chart. So we'll draw the Bollinger Band later on. First of all, these are the charts which we have to study first. Next chart we got under the quant mode package is called bar chart. So bar chart displays the open, high, low, close and volume closing price of a stock. The top of the bar is high and bottom of the bar is low. The left stick is open and right stick is close. And the, if the close is higher than open, the bar is in green color. Otherwise it is in orange color. So in a layman words, we can say like if your clause, the closing price of a stock is higher than the opening price, the bar will be in a green color. Otherwise it is in an orange color. It help us in this getting the information about the opening price of a stock. What is when we, when the price got high, what was the low, lowest price when it got close? What's the volume closing price? So we get multiple information with that. Again, for that I'm using a type is called is equal to bar and the same chart series tool, AAPL Apple's data a subset is I'm, I want to have a data between this range and I would like to have the theme as white, right? Let's see now. Let's see what information we'll be getting with that. It's the second chart we got with the, uh, this quant mode called bar. So in this case, I have just press enter. Let's see it now. So we got these bars available. We can see it here. These are the bars. All right. So this is the information we got here. Everything you can see it here. The, uh, the bar chart displays a lot of stuff 
open high close and volume closing the top of the bar is high and the bottom of the bar is low right this is you can see these are the bars available right so the uh, you can see that two different colors available green and orange i've already told you that if the close is higher than open the bar is in green color otherwise in orange color so we get the information of the uh, this apple's prices in this duration right i hope it's okay it's clear let's move further next la last chart we got is is called candlestick chart so the candlestick chart is very much similar to the bar chart it also displays the open high low close and volume closing price of a stock guys one thing i want to say like uh, it's more of the uh, like management or accounting stuff accounting people can more understand or the uh, market traders can more understand this is out of the scope of this video like uh, how to interpret actually this graph because for that it's a more of a management subject right so uh, I will, but i am just trying to discuss with respect to the computer science uh, background like how we can draw the charts out of this right so next let's, let's uh, go with the chart series again tool in which we have to specify the subset type is candlestick the up color means up up candlestick color is white and the down candlestick color is black and the chart theme is white let's draw this as well afterwards we'll be drawing the bar uh, this uh, bollinger band surrounding it right Let's see the last type of chart. It's called candlestick chart. Let's see now what kind of uh, charts we got. This is the candlestick chart available, right? In which we get multiple information about the volume, right? And we got some ranges available. So this is all about this third type of chart. It's called candlestick chart. So interpretation, as I've already told you, it's out of the scope of this video. It's not uh, about that how to interpret this actually, because as I've told you, it's more of a management related or the uh, accounting related or the the those who are uh, like more interest uh, who are uh, like um, more interested in the uh, market uh, analysis. So those guys only can understand, but it's out of the scope of this video, right? Last point is Bollinger Band. So let's see now how we can uh, draw the Bollinger uh, Band finally. So what is Bollinger Band actually? It's a channel or a band. That's a it's an area actually that surrounds a trend within which the price movement does not indicate formation of a new trend. So it means you will be getting some area, you will be getting some boundary in both sides, which will be which will be surrounding, which will be showing you uh, like that that trend in which the movement not there, right, of a new trend. So this is a kind of a area available. For that we need to first go with the regular. Uh, I'm going with the regular chart series tool. Let me uh, first go with that and then I'll be uh, surrounding it with the Bollinger Band. First of all, I'm going with this. For that, I got a simple uh, chart available. You can see it here. So let's see uh, how we can draw the Bollinger Band surrounding it. For that, I'm using a function called add BB bands. N equal to 20 meaning is uh, number of moving average. SD means stand number of standard, uh, standard deviations. So I'm, I'm using this N equal to 20 and SD equal to 2. Now let's uh, print it here. I just press enter let's see what's the result i'm getting you can see it here the some boundaries got drawn here right uh, around this uh, fluctuations right you can see it here bollinger bands got drawn here so this uh, like it's a quite effective uh, tool a quite effective chart to uh, get to know what's going on in the market right so this marks the end of this video i hope you must have understood uh, uh, like the concept of bollinger band and other charts which can be used for market trading Right? So rest of the content I'll be covering in a next video. Thanks for watching guys.